The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I wanted to meet the state attorney, and I know that she's heavily involved in human trafficking. If you think that it can't happen to your child in America, it can. I'm going to hunt you down, put you in jail. He just fell down, and he split his leg. He's bleeding everywhere, and I think he needs to go to the hospital. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. The Motivational Missionaries Tour of Belize 2015. I'm so excited to be able to present to you this mini-series that we're doing for the tour that we did in Belize this year in 2015. In fact, this is our fourth year doing this event. And after four years, we've touched the lives in a positive way of over 50,000 people in a country that's about 320,000 people. To me and my team, we're so excited and we're so proud and we're so fortunate to be able to have such a beautiful country work with us and make it happen together. There's a lot of little details that go in from what the team is gonna eat and where we're gonna sleep, who we're gonna meet, how many people we're going to speak to, what we gotta pack. What you doing there, Wayne? Yes. I'm Wayne, your bag. That's what I'm Wayne, your bag. Yeah. He's Wayne, my bag. <laughs> Traveling for me is like a drug. I need it. For my survival, I must be on an airplane flying somewhere or in a car or in a train. I must be somewhere traveling for my survival at all times. Day one, we arrived with the leaves. We always have so many extra little things we have to worry about. Because it's not just your bag, you have to worry about the uniforms and you have to worry about the equipment. Since we always break up into two teams, you always have to try to remember what went on what team, and then the second team always has a bunch of extra stuff they have to pick up because the first team forgot things. We worked it. <laughs> Every tool we know got used. I'm sorry? They, they basically had to put me inside the bag. It was. It was <laughs> I was basically the carry on. This time we got to fly into Cancun actually. And we did this because we wanted to meet up with Maggie, who is one of our team members who lives in Mexico. Let me have to figure out how to find Maggie. Um just passing through. I'm going to Belize. Are you going to Belize? Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. When you go to Belize, you need it, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good? You want one? Take one. Learn more about it. What's muestra? Show me. Oh my god. <laughs> I felt like I was talking to Maria, family guy. No, I have no luggage. No, no. No, no. 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 I, I have no contraband. <laughs> I've been to Mexico a few times from cruises but i've never actually gotten to drive through mexico before and really get to see the sights and see how pretty it really is now we are going to border mexican border I'm saying, to Belize. Belize border. so every year one of the biggest things we start off the tour with is the glass breaking ceremony and usually we have locals from local villages come and volunteer to help us break the glass i always when you guys come always come and help out because it's always a good helping hand it's always an experience with you guys as well these bottles we break into little pieces so the kids at the end of the events that we're doing can walk on them it's very powerful it's very powerful when you walk on glass if everybody could come over here and circle around this little pool it's a learning experience actually every time i come i learn something new something that i can do in my work style and you know, based on what i know put it in and do what i do as you see over there bright nine of my directors today to help with the breaking of battle for the magnificent Bert and Lever motivational tour 2015. And this year the team was coming in from Mexico and Bert went with Victor to go pick them up so I was stuck doing the ceremony of which I really have never been in charge of the ceremony before. Well, as you can see we're going to welcome some glass. Okay so you're gonna be first right? Yeah! Yeah? Do not run, do not walk fast, you will slice your foot off. Okay. Okay? Can I get a hug now? <laughs> You're gonna get a hug afterwards. Okay. Do you need an encouragement hug? Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, let's give you an extra minute. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> So I didn't think you're You're on there. You're on. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. That was magnificent. That was powerful. What are you doing again? Oh my god. What are you doing now? 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 What are you doing Víctor, ya, ya estamos aquí so, cruzando, entonces nos vemos ahí el, don, antes de que enseñen los pasaportes ellos. Especially in Belize, Valerie. That's the, yeah, we have We're not officially in Belize oh, yet, God, Valerie. I'm going to be my Snapchat then. I thought I was, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yo, I'm like going sideways. Go right! <laughs> So after we crossed the Mexican-Belize border, we actually hung out in Curaçao. It's a really interesting feeling the moment you get to Belize, at least for the team and I. You just feel like you're home. Like, it just, it's like such a like, oh my god, I'm back kind of feeling. You know, we stopped right next to a park, so you saw a bunch of local kids out there just playing around. No, that's right. <laughs> all the way down, all the way down. And it was a really cool perspective to kind of see that in just a few days, I'm gonna see the same kids, but in a totally different light. So one of the first things that we're gonna have to do is collect all the different items we're gonna need for this tour. Banner pole and probably the rebar for the breakthrough. We can't travel with it, so we gotta collect it when we get here. So when there are emergency situations in Belize, you call BERT. It stands for Belize Emergency Response Team and we actually met one of the EMTs. So when people eat fire on stage, you need fuel. And quite frankly, we were running out of this fuel. We do seminars and people eat fire? Yeah. And he shared with us that there is a local rum called Red Top. Now we're gonna have to use rum. Yeah, yeah, that's the best thing. In Belize, then you gotta use rum. That is awesome, man. In Belize, you stay for the women or for the rum? I had no idea. I He's out. a potentialist, he doesn't drink rum. No! <laughs> I don't have the potential to L drink listen rum. To it's not Bert. inside me. Listen to Bert, that's my brother. You see, I'm Bert and that's Bert. I'm Bert. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to be using, they say that the rum, this rum here, Red Top, is so powerful that it'll light up just like if it was kerosene. Rum? That's a fire. At least rum. It burns hot though. Okay. It'll work. <laughs> Can you believe that? You better believe it. So, preparation for any event is always a little stressful. Val, wow, cut that. Hey Val, don't play the little video anymore. One of the most enjoyable parts of what I do is coordinating behind the scenes. I need the breakthrough things for the rebar if I do it. If you do it? It's right, the rebar's right there. You know, you have to make sure that sound is working, that our laptops are working with the right soundboard, that the sound engineer knows what our cues are, that lights are working, that the PowerPoint's working. Especially in an event like this where we have, you know, hundreds and sometimes thousands of people attending. Okay, family. Let's get the question of the day done. You guys ready? Regardless of where we are and how tired he is and how much work he's done, always makes time for connecting with everybody online. So you know what you have to do, right? You have to make it happen. I'll talk to you guys later. Anybody who's reached out to him, he always makes sure to answer them personally. Towards the beginning of the tour, the second thing that we normally do is we go meet with all the media avenues. We'll do lots of interviews, radio, television, newspapers, things like that. This also marks 50,000 kids that we would have spoken to since the tour started five years ago. We're on a mission to change lives. We're on a mission to connect with people. We're all over all the social medias, the Facebooks, the Instagrams. 
the Twitters. Reach out to us on the social media. Personally, one of the potentialists will get back to you. Sometimes not immediately, but we get back to every single kid that reaches out to us. It's also how we let the country know that we're here and if they want to connect with us or come to one of the shows, that they can get in touch with Restore Belize. You're gonna break this board with your bare hands. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. This is also an affirmation of all of that, that, you know, I have to get back my focus and do the things that are important to me. Delusions in general uh, can always make good with a bit of motivation, but when we're tapping into our young people, we're actually building on a future of people who believe that they can make it happen. Make it happen, Belize! All right, now we're going to make this break happen so that we can come back for a third segment, uh, so stay tuned. Thank you. Let me go ahead and do the autograph this week. So what are you going to do? Make, Make it happen! I can hear you. Make it happen! see you at the event. One of the cool things is that a lot of times people will invite us over for dinner because they want to meet the potentialist and they want to meet Bert especially. So we got invited over to the Hachandani's house in Orange Walk. I need a Hachandani. This is Maggie. Hi, Valerie. Hi, welcome. That's LJ. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. This is Miles. Miles, nice to meet you. Please come, welcome. Well, that's my son right there. He's oh, nice yeah. Miles. Nice to meet you. We've been doing this for over 21 years at a professional level. I've traveled the world doing the seminars. Our stuff is called humanology, scientific study of human uh, potential. Not only do we train on it, we actually teach you the tools to reprogram and have the quality of life you want. And they prepared Indian cuisine for us. It was so spectacular. I'm very happy to have Bert and his family, Dion and her family. Thank you so much. You know, and it's a pleasure. It's starting of a new relationship. Right? Yes. To learn how you can support the motivational missionaries, visit our website and connect with us on your favorite social media. Hi, I'm Val, and welcome to the family. Make sure to like, comment, and share. And subscribe, of course.